So exploitation we are going to see today in law and social justice. Now you need to re read from the beginning of page number 121 till the end of page number 125. Exploitation. Now basically before we start with this, let us first know few concepts. These are related also to your math subject. You know them because on them or the problems on this. So just let us quickly see what they want to say and then we can relate it to the topic exploitation. Okay. Many business needs to make profit. What is profit then? In the simplest of form, profit is equal to selling price minus cost price or income, whatever we get, minus expenses, whatever we have given for the business. Okay. So this we have already learned in the math, right? So it is the money that a business can keep for itself or the use of the owners. Okay. If there are like if it is a single owned firm, then it is for the owner. But if an institute or if a firm or if a factory has two, three owners, okay, so the profit is distributed among all the members of the uh, owning members. Therefore, it is only logical that any business will try to increase profit. So why you are doing uh, the business? Why you are uh, spending so much of time selling things or selling services? That is, you want to earn something from it. And you will see that the amount which you have received one in one year, that goes on increasing year after year. So, therefore, profit can increase by two ways. So, now we have seen that uh, how the profit is going to get increased because every businessman thinks of profit and increasing profit year after year. Okay. So, two things are there, increasing selling price or reducing the cost price. In both the cases, the profit will increase. Okay. So, an increase in selling price or income would mean an increase in the price at which the consumer buy the product. Okay, we were talking about profit and how the employer or the owner of the business wants more and more pro uh, profit and for that what he does. Either he reduces the uh, cost price or he increases the selling price. But in case he increases the selling price, then the Buyers, the person, the consumers who buy for them, the prices increase. So, what they will do? They will think on uh, purchasing that particular product. So, in other case, a decrease in cost price or expense would ent entail cost cutting measures by the business, reducing wages and salaries and reducing quality of product. So, apart from uh, increasing the selling price and increasing the uh, price, there are some other ways how the profit can be maximized or taken at the most. So, it can be the wages or the salaries of the person working in that institute that can be reduced or the quality of the product can be reduced. So, all this now you can relate it to exploitation. Either it is an exploitation to the country consumers, many times it is the consumers, okay. Whatever we are learning now, whatever we are reading now is ultimately, if there is a cost cutting in the cost price or increase in the selling price or like the quality is reduced or the wages are reduced, ultimately this is a dissatisfaction of the customer or the people working for that particular firm or factory. Okay, or the enterprise. Okay, not compelling with rules that require extra charge. Not following the rules of the government. Okay, here we can see this. We will understand this later. Okay, both these methods seem to exploit either the consumer or the worker. As I said, okay. Therefore, from the point of view of the customers, the business could make minimum profit for itself. Okay. So, if they avoid doing all this, if they avoid troubling the consumer or the worker, then 
that is very less profit gained by the businessman the decrease in profit would make the business owner would make less money who is a business owner in many cases a business owner is a shareholder of the company a private business owner and they should be people like you and me okay so the business owners goes through a lot of risk hard work planning and problems so if we, any of the parent run the business he will come to know now you are in each and you have grown up so you hear your father your mother discussing about their business so you see how much hard effort they are putting how much risk they are taking what time they are spending for planning planning things about new uh, products or how to modify the old products and many other problems problems of laborers the workers about the other partners and many more okay so business is but you can put it into equation as like high risk high risk as well as hard work okay what are the business owners want not want to make money in return of all this so if you are they are putting their um, mind into it they are taking risk they are utilize hours together for planning they are sorting and sorting out the problems so for this means some other other way they are working right we do the same thing when we are working for a salary so if we are expecting salary after doing all this we have to plan for the day okay plan like we have to give the priorities to the work and we have to work hard to execute it right and uh, you face problems and you have a solution to it so if a person working also does the same thing even the businessman is doing much more than what a salaried person is doing so for this of course he will expect profit and more profit okay so business owner would like to make the most profit in the real world the business has to play a balancing act between the rights of its stakeholders and the owner okay who are the stakeholders a stake who is interested in the company okay so they have to keep a balance between the rights of stakeholders owners customers and employees profit can be increased by increasing price or reducing cost as we have studied prior by increasing price the product becomes expensive for things like food water basic medicines etc that all people really need the government has to take make sure that the prices don't increase too much okay so you have the departments also this for the, all the said things right the pharmacy department is there so for food there is a food department food inspectors are there for water also the purification and the uh, like the circulation of water throughout the city and everything this is under the government even the pharmacy like basic medicines and all all of them are under the um, government rights only okay and they see to it that um, they don't increase the prices too much some businesses try to reduce their cost for this they may have to not follow certain safety rules or not pay their workers well so what do they do to reduce the cost is that they don't pay for the safety rules suppose there is a construction site going on so it is mandatory to wear the jacket the helmet for the workers but the owner of the constructor they just avoid or they just neglect ignore the safety rules all the all the people working on the construction site are not given the helmets or the safety measures or the gum boots the jackets okay so there they reduce their cost or not pay their workers well okay so this is how they reduce the cost now again the government has to make sure that the workers aren't been exploited okay from the employees point of view 
such laws could include uh, could include rules that make sure the employers like pays wages salaries on time and pays fair wages so what is the employee the worker expecting that he should get good wages on time okay from a consumer's point now what does the consumer feel about the product what how should be he protected or, or should not be exploited okay so from a consumer's point of view such laws would include rules that make sure prices are not unnecessarily high and the quality of the product matches the prices okay so from each point of view they have said okay from the workers point of view like employees point of view from the business point of view the consumers point of view and now the again we will see about the owner from investor or owner point of view such laws should include rules that make sure accounting is done properly each and every account or whatever is spent whatever has come in whatever is the capital involved and what are the expenses both are being written mentioned in a account so that things go very very smoothly the calculations go very very smoothly okay officers on the of the company are following all related rules so not only the rules are being made but they, the officers or the workers in the firm are also abiding laws yeah. and rules okay do know this is a very simple way of looking at a very complex situation right but this is a good way to start understanding the process if you like our videos do share them and subscribe to our channel if you want awesome quizzes write to us keep watching and keep learning with walnut